Ever since its inception in the early 2000s, the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game has diversified into a wide variety of different archetypes, playstyles, and decks. Players in the modern era have many different ways to communicate with one another in order to craft the perfect deck list. However, if one is willing to do so, there are other ways in order to get the information you need to build the perfect deck, such as Wikipedia. In this series, I will be using the wiki engine in order to craft my very own deck list and take it online to see how well it shapes up against the current meta. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki Duels. YouTube! Hello! It is I, Raining Card Games, and... It has been a little bit of time. Obviously, I've taken a little bit of a break since Atlantean Chronicles. <sighs> Wallet can rest easy now. Um, and I figured, why don't we go ahead and do something that I like to dabble with occasionally? Wikipedia. We are going to be revisiting a favorite deck of mine. Dragoonity. For those of you who don't know, I have run a sealed only series revolving around this archetype. Sealed only Dragoonity had a lot of fun with it. It's just a, such a fun deck, at least for me personally to play around with. I want to see what Wikipedia's take is on the deck, so we are going to hop onto Wikipedia, read through the description of the deck, look what it suggests for the main deck, for the extra deck. Take it online, see how the deck does. Uh, but before we go ahead and do that, if you could please like, comment, subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I think it is time that we hop on over to Yugopedia. Now, let's see what it has to say about my beloved Dragoonity. <coughs> Dragoonity is an archetype of Wind Dragon and Winged Beast monsters released in the Dual Terminal, revolving around equipping level 3 or lower Dragon Tuner monsters and Synchro Summoning powerful monsters. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate description. Honestly, that right there sums it up, because um, appearance, they're basically weapons, Dragon Riders, gladiatorial beasts. Um, and yeah, their playstyle is Synchro Spam, Synchro Spam, build big, nasty Synchro Monsters. Pretty accurate. Um, let's go ahead and actually take a look at what they are suggesting for a deck. Main deck. Um, Armagram, Leviton, Mistleton, Ducks, Legatus, Legionnaire. Okay, same with Militon. These two are kind of eh. Um, Senatus, Zephros, Garuda, Lad. I mean, technically, we can spam out monsters if we haven't committed to our normal yet to tribute summon him. But it also kind of disrupts our own plays, too. If we, It's basically Lad. I guess. Okay. Um, Red MD, Tempest, Wind Witch. Okay, so that means then it gives us Glass Snowball. It's an engine to climb up in the um, Clear Wing, um, or Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which we're Windlocked. Doesn't matter to us. We're literally playing a wind archetype. Couldn't care less about that restriction. Call back to Sealed Only Dragoonity in the early days when we actually had to rely on Brooks cards like Brandestock. Level 1 Dragoonity Tuner. Um, basically, when it's equipped, it gives us a double attacking monster. Very much power crept. We're gonna have to play it. Um, but all the other tuners make sense. Remus is the heart and soul now of modern Dragoonity. Baby Rock, we already talked about the Glass Bell engine. Spells, everything looks pretty good. I mean, Dragoonity Draft, in terms of the Dragoonity cards, it's kind of mid, just kind of slowly recycling and protecting during battle. But everything else, Ravine, Lance, Glow, and Whirlwind, great cards. Um, Whirlwind is a good going second tool. Um, Glow is amazing, just searching out cards like Mistletane. Um, cards of Consonance, Draw Power, Dragon Trine, Foolish Burial, Reborn, Dragon Lords. Honestly, spell lineup looks great. The only things that have been questionable so far are <laughs> Light and Darkness Dragon and um, the Brandestock, which, a little bit of cheese, I can dig that. I guess that will be with a little bit of flex points. Look at the cheese I'm running in this deck. Uh, traps, only four. Oubliette is it's a counter tra trap that negates spell traps. 
and gives an attack buff to my big synchros. It's a good card, and it's searchable. Uh, Dragoonity Legion. It came out in Cybernetic Horizon with um, Ascalon and Senatus and Luin, but and Kus. It's meh, it's a tr continuous trap card. It's slow. It's very much power crept even by the time it came out. It has its uses. It can help recycle in longer game states. We'll see how that goes. Um, back to front call the haunted. They're good, but they're also power crept because of the, their trap cards. They're slow. Same with metaverse. We usually have so many other quicker ways to get to a dragon ravine. But that's the main deck. Couple of questionable cards, but honestly, everything else because of the like 1.5 combo lines that this deck can do and climb into. Literally, if I see a Remus. I can make something happen with at least the main deck, and it also depends on what it's giving me in the extra deck. Speaking of which, oh, okay, that is a lot of monsters. That is way more than 15. I guess we'll pick and choose from the list. Um, it has almost all the Dragoonity Synchros. Um, it doesn't have Gay Bulk, which is actually my personal favorite one in terms of artistic design, uh, but that one's just way power crept at this point. Um, the Big Tens, they're great. Barcha is a really good soul charge. It's literally soul charge with equipping Dragonity monsters from the grave, and most of them can special summon. Um, Gormfabar is a 7, which is a little awkward to make. Um, Geysar makes it possible, but it's just a DD Crow. It's like, eh. Luin, Extender, Gator, Heart and Soul, Trident is a 7 that can rip from the extra deck, but I have to rip seven, uh, cards on my field, so it's... Eh. Borlode Savage, clear, The Clearing, Crystal Wing, Red Nova, Red Super, and Scarlight. I mean, Barcha can spam tuners out, so I see what they're going at, but... Eh. And then Trident Dragon, it's kind of similar vein to try, um, Dragoonity Trident. Pop cards, pop cards on my opponent's field, then I get extra attacks, but the big 10s I have already are better than this 10 because Reed Bear and Ascalon are amazing. Um, Xyz, Hope Harbinger, I can make it happen with the eights I have. A Tomb, great extender. Mm, no. Gustav Max. I don't see why I would overlay my 10s, which are arguably much better, just to burn for 2,000. Um, Link Monsters, Romulus, Heart and Soul, Borload, kind of past it this obviously came a, a while ago because hawk is banned um great fly i would love a 500 attack boost um lp traditional format only we're not playing that pisty it doesn't give me any down arrows to really work i kind of need something like a, a triple burst to make this happen so that's weird that they don't give me that option they give me desperate doom eagle which is basically kind of like gormfabar um spheres good win is okay because there are more than 15, I'm probably going to just pick and choose the cards that I would like from this extra deck to see what I can make work with the main deck. So honestly, not bad in terms of what it says for weaknesses. Send it to Stux. Okay, yep. So it basically says our starting card when our normal summon, it's very um, weak. It's also weak against cards like D-Shifter, Different Dimension, Ground, and Macro Cosmos. Yeah, we're a graveyard deck. We need our graveyard to be live. Um, and Nibiru is vulnerable, but... Yep, a Reed Bear, Vajra Barsha, Crystal Wing Synchro, cool. It already acknowledges that we can at least fight along that weakness for our normal summon. Um, Remus and Legatus can give us that way to dodge Nibiru and other hand traps. So, honestly, there's just a couple of weird takes, but I can make this deck work. Let's uh, piece together everything and see what we can come up with. Behold! Uh, this is what Wikipedia has recommended for a Dragoonity deck. Um, as you can see, most of the cards in the deck are actually pretty good. Um, if we're looking at our lineup here, um, we have our big monsters that honestly help with extension. Um, we've got our starters with Senatus, and we've got Ducks. We've got our special summons with Legatus and Remus, which will get us to our crystalline lines. Militum's there. We have our tuners, which are great. We're in the stocks there. Um, Red MD. We have Void and Darkness Dragon. I don't know how we're going to make it because we can't really special summon it, but it's here. We've got our Wind Extenders. We've got our Wind Witch Engine. Honestly, not bad. Spell lineup, or aside from draft, it's a great. Trap lineup is 
besides Oobleet is kind of there. Extra deck, um, I went with just pick the best 15 and just kind of splash a couple other things in there. So I have Scarlight, it's there. Um, I figured since this is a Dragoonity video, we're gonna include all of the synchros, just because. Um, but yeah, this is more or less what we're gonna go with and we'll go on, we'll hop online, see how three duels go and let's see what Wikipedia has in store for us. Alrighty, so for match number one, we are going up against Neospatian Hero. Um, it's an interesting one. I get to go first, obviously, uh, so I have my, just in case I have no clue what my opponent's playing, I play it safe, I climb up on into a clearing, or Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon to avoid anything and protect my normal summon. I then use my Senatus to go up into a Romulus, getting me access to my Dragoonity Glow so I can get my Mistletane. Mistletane sending the Romulus to Graveyard so I can re-spam out the Gator once again thanks to Glow's secondary effect. And this gets me a Zephyros Leak for a little extra extension. I use my Atum to spam out my Leviton. I re-equip and I go ahead and climb on into my beloved Arid Bear. With a back row set of Obliate, that means I can deal with most of my opponent's cards. I hit the Fusion deployment. They had a second one in hand, so uh, I guess that was kind of a waste. Unfortunate, luckily I am able to prevent my opponent from using a Dark Panther to steal my effects, which would basically made it an op a monster negate. Um, the big old Spirit of Neos comes out, I negate and banish it with a Reed Bear, and that's where the Fusion Destiny hits the field. DPE now comes out, so that is going to be interesting. Luckily I do have pretty big beefy monsters that can beat over it. Um, he goes ahead and pops my Reed Bear, and that sucks, but I still have a Crystal Wing on the field. Um, I go ahead and use Dragon Ravine to discard, and my opponent scoops. Alright, and for game number two, we get hit by Dimensional Shifter. Yeah, Dimension Shifter sucks. Um, that basically turns off my entire deck with the Dragon Ravine online. And we are going up against Kash Tira. Um, Fenrir hits the field, Unicorn hits the field. Uh, even if the D Shifter didn't hit, there is a Lava Golem, there's an Ash Blossom in my opponent's hand. There's also the Triple Tactics. I was not winning this game unless I had the most perfect opener of all time. Which unfortunately I didn't, and now I'm starting to get my loans locked up. Um, yeah, Shangira hits the field, Arise Heart is now on the field as well. Drawing the Light and Darkness Dragon is the last card I wanted to see in my deck. We just scoop. Alright, the final game we're going to be testing out against is Illusion, the new Illusion um, card type. But unfortunately, I open a crappy one. And um, this basically allows my opponent to go on and do whatever they choose because I have no forms of interaction at the present moment, just hoping that I do not die. Yeah. Um, it's also really interesting to just see how they kind of retrained a lot of like the Burferment and everything. Um, Chimera, Garden Chimera hits the field. I just go ahead and get my Dragon Ravine the hand. Hope that I survive the turn, which luckily I do. Um, and now that I have a Dragon Ravine, it has to go away. So yeah, that, that kind of sucks. But I do have a Monster Reborn. So I Reborn the Brandestock. I Normal Summon my Coos. I try to go up on into Romulus. And then I get negated from the Graveyard by the Mirror Swordsman. That basically wraps up the duel. I do not have any chance of coming back because that baby rocking hand is not doing me any favors. <sighs> and that's gonna do it. Um, honestly, it went about as I expected. When I saw the cards that I wanted to see, it looked great. I, because I'm very familiar with the Dragoonity lines, if I see a Remus, I can kind of piece together everything and build a board. Uh, but at the same time, if I get hit by a D shifter and at the beginning before I can even set up on Monster Negate, yeah, my turn is going to literally just be set and pass. Um, but yeah, honestly, not bad Wikipedia for giving me something that's somewhat playable. <laughs> um, and also to a main deck that I can actually pick a couple of extra cards. So obviously I was able to double up on some important playmakers as opposed to just Highlander, an entire deck off of the website. So, despite a 1-2 record, I mean, it's only three games. 
this is okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. Um, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Maybe is there any other deck that you'd like me to check out on Wikipedia? There are hundreds of different options. I'd be happy to dig through, scratch through Wikipedia and see what the internet has in store for us. But anyway, that's going to do it all for me today. I will catch you in the next video.